Y'all remember those banana plants I split? There's one. Back there's another one. Then I planted some, I ordered some new varieties, two new varieties, there's one. There's the second one. It's gonna get harder the taller these get. There's the third one. There's the fourth one. There's the fifth one. So these are probably really only growing slower because I don't really have them in pots that are really suitable. This one just took off like crazy. This one here took off like crazy, even though it's in a small pot. And then this one really took off like crazy, even though it's in a small pot but has shallower soil. And then the one that I split them off of, I think I might have taken too much off of it at once. But unfortunately, it died. Not a big deal because one of the ones that I split already has two started on it. And this one back here that I split has a bunch. Not only these two great big ones, the two great big stalks, but there's one, two, three already started in the bottom. So yeah. Now this one's actually doing really well. And I'll tell you what I did. The one that died had a stalk on it like this. And I chopped that stalk up and stuck it in there to let it release the nutrients back in. Now banana plants, they like a whole lot of potassium. And my guess is there's a lot of potassium in those stalks. And that's why this one grew so much better than all the other ones because they don't have that banana plant stalk but i got another banana plant stalk that i need to shred up and put in the other ones i just haven't got around to it yet but if you're curious you can go back and actually look that's the one that had the uh the post and i taped it there to keep it from moving oh the other weird thing is this stalk actually come off of this plant so that original stalk that i had staked up died but it had already sent up new shoots before that happened and it died because it got rot at the bottom so my mistake but i mean the rhizome itself shot up a whole bunch of new sprouts it's doing great um, the other one over there i think that it started out as two it's about six foot tall and this one is about well, if you go all the way up to the limbs there, it's probably closer to six and a half or seven, seven feet tall. You know, once the limbs actually fold down the way they're supposed to, it won't be that tall. But yeah, they're doing really great. Anyways, I just thought I'd give you an update to show you that splitting the rhizomes. Yes, sometimes you will end up with a dead plant or two. Because I actually lost, you know, the the original one. The mother plant actually died. Now, I haven't done anything with that pot because a lot of times they'll come back and they're just kind of slow about doing it. So, I'm going to leave it, you know, this fall when it gets too cold for these to be outside. When the overnight temperatures or the very first day that it gets close to about 54, 55 degrees, I take them inside. Because... Anything below 50 stunts their growth anyway, so there's just no sense in leaving them out there. But um, I'll take them all inside and keep them over winter, and I'll bring them out next year. And uh, these other ones, I, I got some plans. The reason why, even though that there's one, two, three, four, five new small baby ones, it's only two varieties. And actually, there is a third variety I planted outside over there that I ain't had time to walk over and check on. 
Um, while I'm standing here though, this right here is my lemon tree that I pruned in the early spring. You can see how much it is filled out. And this right here is my lime tree that I pruned in the spring. And you can see how much it filled out. They've like doubled in size. So just goes to show you. Then I got my fig here. It's got some figs on it. This is one that I keep inside over the winter. It always does really good with figs. Um, probably not even anywhere close to being ready to eat, but you know, it won't be long. Once the temperatures start cooling down, it'll be fig time. And uh, this one right here is actually a little soft, a little small, but a little soft. And I noticed one of my other figs is back over in that corner of the yard is also got some figs on it. Uh, one of the ones that died all the way back to the ground this year shot up a bunch of new shoots. It's got figs on it. So I'm try to got to try to remember with the chemo brain memory issues and all that stuff going on that I got to get those protected for before winter gets here. Can't do it too soon because you'll suffocate them and can't do it too late because they'll freeze to death. And... The corn that I planted, you can kind of see it sticking up over there. Probably in another week or two, I'll be able to harvest the corn off of that. I need to go out and check those. I'm not going to do it on camera. But that's just a quick update about some stuff that I did early in the spring. And I just wanted to follow up and kind of show you how well everything did uh, if you follow this. So the bananas are doing great. Lemons are doing great. Limes are doing great. Figs are doing great corn seems to be doing pretty good i did have an animal get in there and knock some of the stalks over i think it was actually a deer was able to jump that seven foot barbed wire fence and uh knocked probably about i don't think it was quite a third it might have been a quarter of the of the stalks over so i'll just have to wait and see how it turns out but anyways as always thanks for watching God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads. Oh, and one other thing. I never got any of these other plants. Two grapes sitting there. Um, a the, Two gooseberries over there. There's a hazelnut over there. I never got any of this stuff planted. Huh, eventually, I'll get back to the old me. But right now, I'm just taking it one day at a time. And it takes me way longer to do things. So, I just don't get things done the way I think I will. Uh, that wraps it up. Thanks.